Hey everybody, it's Allison Haikila, and today I've got a video for Imagine. We're gonna be doing some mono printing with VersaFine Claire, as well as doing some stamp layering with these very same inks. I started off with Charming Pink, and now I'm using Warm Breeze, and we're going over to Fantasia now, and I'm putting them all on my six by six gel press plate. Now I've got my six inch brayer, and I'm just kind of blending those colors together a bit, and I have a roll off print over there on the side that I'm putting the excess on. Now I have this very, very cool embossing folder from Sizzix and Tim Holtz, and I'm gonna just press that into my gel press plate. And I'm kind of, you could see that I'm, I'm pushing down pretty hard and I'm kind of wiggling it a little bit around. And that's because if you do that, you get almost a look of movement and more depth, as opposed to if you just press it down lightly and just kind of let it sit there for a second. So I've pulled the plate off, the, uh, the embossing folder off, and now I'm using just a piece of copy paper, a nice quality copy paper, but copy paper nonetheless. And you can see the definition that you get from that embossing folder, and it came out really cool. So there's all this ink that's on my embossing folder. So I decided to squirt it with a little bit of water, um, and I took some cardstock, ran it through my die cut machine, and I got that very cool letter press effect. So that can be used on another card. So don't waste that ink because it's there. You may as well use it. Now I have the beautiful fancy star builder from Altenew. I, I really love this set. It's kind of new to me. I've wanted it since it came out, but I've, I've only gotten to use it a couple of times so far. So we're going back in with the same colors as before. There's not a whole lot of pink on that mono print that we made. So I wanted the main star to be that charming pink. Um, and then I'm going to just keep using the other colors that we use, the Warm Breeze, the Fantasia, and I also introduce a little bit of Medieval Blue um, just to give it some more depth. You'll see on the fourth layer that I'll use that Medieval Blue. So here's some Warm Breeze, and you can see how beautifully those VersaFine Claire inks uh, ink up with these, with these clear stamps. The coverage is really good. They're very solid when they dry, um, and I, I really like using them. They're so crisp, too. So if you haven't tried VersaFine Claire inks, I really encourage you to do so. The Nocturne is my favorite black ink ever. I use the Twilight all the time. It's not one of the colors that I've used today, but that is just a great color if you don't want to use black, if you find that black is a little too harsh for whatever you're working on. Also, Fallen Leaves is a great neutral brown. Fantastic colors. There are really some unusual ones in there, too, that you'll have a hard time finding in other lines of ink. So that last layer was done with the medieval blue and I'm gonna use that with this circle too. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to make sure that it's perfectly centered but I think that I nailed it at the end. So we're putting that right in the middle just to give your, your eye a visual central point. And now I'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. You won't watch me do the whole thing but I do want you to see just how I decided to cut it out. There are dies for this. I do not own them. I'm thinking that I should probably get them, although I don't mind fussy cutting, but I think it'll be a little quicker if you, if you use the dies. So here I am just cutting that out a little bit, and in a moment I'll wind up changing the scene and you'll see what we're gonna do with it next. There you go, there it is all finished up. So now I'm checking out to see where I wanna trim this panel down. Again, this is six by six, so I need to make it four by five and a quarter so that I have a nice front for my card, leaving a little bit of a border around the edge. I trimmed off the top where the purple is predominant because I really didn't want to lose any of that pink because there really isn't a whole lot of it showing. So I've got this awesome holographic paper. This is just from Michaels. And I trimmed a couple pieces off. That first little skinny one is because the, the cardstock was a little bent and I didn't want to use that on the card. So now I've got my sentiment, which says, you are... Well, you're a really shiny, bright star, which is just such a pleasant thing to say to people. You know, we're all made of stardust. Have you heard that? I don't know if you're into science or not, but I am. And we are all made of stardust. And I think that that's such a cool thing, which is one of the reasons why this set really spoke to me. Um, because we are, we're all made of stardust. So I think that that's a really cool sentiment. And it's great for anything. You can use it for whatever you want. You can put an additional sentiment on the inside to kind of bring the idea home for whatever it is that you're trying to say. Happy birthday, you know, you did a great job, congratulations, whatever. But I, I think that that's a really nice 
sentiment for the front. So now I'm just planning out where I'm putting everything and I decided that I wanted to put some charming pink on the outside. Again, I said this earlier, but there's just not a whole lot of pink showing on that monoprint because the ink was um, pulled from the Fantasia and the Warm Breeze because that's where I had put the embossing folder first. So it kind of hid some of that charming pink. So I wanted to kind of make sure that that was really standing out a bit more. I wanted it to really pop. I'm gonna use some on-point glue to attach my strips. I love this glue. I use it for whenever I have sequins that I'm putting on a card front or gemstones. It's just a great glue for that. Uh, but if I'm using little strips like this, it's also good for that. You can use it to, you know, put your whole card together. I find that I prefer to use other glues for that not that there's anything wrong with on point, it's perfect, but you know, just ease of use sometimes, you know, using the uh, the big dry adhesive that I used earlier sometimes is a little quicker. So, and then it's it's an immediate adhesion as opposed to waiting for it to dry. So you can use what you like, but I, I do like using my on point for little strips and things like that. Here I'm just cutting little flags at the end of my strip and I'm adding some summer sky memento ink because I thought that the white was a little too I don't know it was popping a little too much I didn't really want it to do that so I wanted to subdue the strip just a bit so I used summer sky just to kind of tone it down and I thought that it looked really nice like that a little bit more on point glue to attach it to my card front and that's it we got a card it's all done and we used a couple of cool techniques I hope that you'll try doing some mono printing with your VersaFine Claire's and pull out those embossing folders. You know, let's see what you can do with them. I hope that you'll let me know if you give it a try. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day. Be well, stay safe, peace out.